everybody, it's Peggy. Um, I thought I'd show you how to make this cute little basket, seeing how Easter's just around the corner here. Very, very, very simple. Easy, easy, easy. So, show you how to do it. You need a piece of cardstock that is six inches by six inches and you will score it at two swing it around score it at two swing it around score it at two swing it around score it at two so you end up with the nine little squares here. Yeah, there you go. You can see the, the squares. So on one side you're just going to cut along the one score line up to the the middle score line there, the first one here. Both of those. And then you're going to swing it right around so the opposite side and do the same thing, just cut right up to the score line and I get it lined up here come on, there we go right up to the score line and then I like to take my corner rounder and just is that the ones that I want? yeah <laughs> Just um, round off the corners. You do not have to do this. You can use a fancier one or you can use a, a smaller circle whatever, or corner punch. And then um, if you want to get fancy fancy you can cut out some pattern paper and that will be one and a half inches square and you will round off one corner of that so it will match up and then you can just stick this down now you, if you prefer you can use pattern paper or you don't have to do anything at all just leave it plain. Just stick your piece down. And slap some glue on it there. Or the glue was here, that's why I'm using that. Otherwise I would probably use my ATG gun, but this is faster and easier right now try to get it lined up as best as possible one more and There you go. Just give that a second to dry here. You will also need a strip of paper. This is um, eight and a half by three quarters of an inch. Um, you can make it as short as seven inches, which is what that one is. Doesn't really matter in there somewhere. And uh, I just stuck a piece of ribbon on there. There was a piece of ribbon that Robin had given me, so I just, uh, it's going to match up nice, so I use that. And uh, that's had a minute to dry, so then you just go in and fold it all over, all your score lines. more here mm -hmm. 
Okie dokie. So the pieces that are uh, covered with paper are the ones that will be folding. Where am I? You just fold them over like that. And then you get your piece of paper that you're going to use for the handle. Just get that centered. And then you get your paper piercer. And just find a spot about in the center of things and try not to stab yourself on the other side. Got quite a few layers here that I'm going through, so it's going. There we go. And then you just need a bread. A little itty bitty teeny one here. Shove that through. This is probably about the hardest part is getting that <laughs> apart. And fold it down. On the other side, same thing. Just grab your two sides, fold them over like that. Bring your handle around. Tuck it down on the inside. Get your paper piercer. And just start working a hole through. Now we'll let go of that for a second here when I get through here. Okay, I can bring that back down now and pierce that. There we go. And then get your bread. Poke that through. So well, there you go, just that fast and easy. And that's all it the only thing that's holding it together is those two breads, and it makes a nice sturdy little little basket. And then you can decorate it up if you want. I got a little bunny rabbit here. So I think we can just glue him on there. Hold that down for a second here. There's a couple of my handy dandy clothespins here. Get my clothespins on there to hold it while it dries for a minute. <laughs> and then I have some little flowers that you can stick on to the uh, handle. If you like, you know, as much or as little as you like. Depending on whether it's for a girl or a boy or whoever. I think we're going to stop at three. Here we go. We're doing with our bunny here. There we go. Cute little little basket. So you start out with a piece of paper six by six, score it down two, turn it around, score it at two, turn it around, score it at two, turn it around, score it at two, cut up your to, on your sides up to the first score line on the two squares there and then turn it around to the other side and cut up and uh, I kind of like the corners rounded it just looks a little more like a basket I think if with that done that way but there you go our little Easter basket if you have any questions give me a holler Take care, everyone. Bye.